Hello. Um, yeah. Strange reason. The kick is not working on my phone. Why, I don't know. Um, but, Ultra never mind. AI. Welcome back, guys. We are the real guys. Hey. Um, this is the news. Chris, no, Chris and Dan. Hello. Hello. Let's do it. Well, it would appear the world has been slightly boring this week, as Chris only has three stories. Uh, I don't know why the world's... I don't remember it. No. Ah, do you have a fourth? I do. Should we chuck it in? Yeah. We'll chuck it in. Okay, so we have... This will be good. We have penis, nine till five, DNA... UFO. And UF... <laughs> fucking motherfucking... Oh, so uh, you ready to hit the news, Chris? Let's do it. Let's do it. UFO... A flight coming back from Japan heading over to <laughs> America. <laughs> that was actually quite a good time, though. Thank you. Passengers on the plane noticed something weird, not hovering beside, but it was in a distance, but still close enough you can see. There were six of them. They're like, oh, no, no, no. Seem right. Sounds exactly like a Chinese, Japanese person. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, there was, a, there was a bit of uh, what the fuck's going on here. There was a bit of ding ding ding, and then, then next minute, poof, gone. disappeared. Finito, gone. Mm -hmm. I said gone. But now it disappeared. Passengers on the plane started to get a bit scared. They were like, "Who was it? What was it? Was it UFO? Was it alien? Was it?" Human flat earthers. DNA people? Was it lizard people? Illuminati confirmed! Illuminati confirmed right there! <laughs> you fucking sicko. But no one knows. Just one minute he had some weird stuff in there. Next minute, gone. Benito. We're getting watched. <laughs> but are we? Right, this one is a bit savage and a bit brutal and a probably a bit of an overreaction. I mean, people have overreacted before. I've overreacted. I'm sure Chris has in his lifetime. But this is the ultimate. This takes the cake. A fellow male was uh, getting, at first I assume enjoyed, but then he was cursed with the same dream. And the same dream every night he had was... <laughs> was... Uh, <laughs> Playing in my head now was having sexual intercourse with two other partners. Was it two girls? Yes. What a player. Um, but this has been an ongoing thing for a quite a while. Do you know how long it was ongoing on for? Yeah, uh, for a while. Do you know where he's from and who he is? I'm from America. From America. I'm gonna call him Brian. Brian. Uh, but he's been having this same reoccurring gym for a, a long period of time. So he woke up one day. He thought, "I've had enough," and this is where he overreacted. He took his penis took his testicles and proceeded to chop them off. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh at like, cause I mean, it's obviously that's a state of psychosis. Yeah. That's a bit, but that's an overreaction. Why cut off your junk? I mean, a dream about something. yeah, I, maybe just, I don't know. What can you do to get rid of dreams? Call Leonardo DiCaprio. Why? The film Inception. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's a bit of an overreaction. Don't cut off your manlyhood. Uh, don't cut off anything. Yeah, don't cut off anything. Because it's... Uh, I mean, next time he... Oh, what do you do there? Do you just mash up a mashed potato mess and say he's a girl now? I don't, know. I don't want to assume his gender, no, Chris. Let's stop. Just, let's just move on. Chris, let's don't, just don't move assume on. his gender. Chris. Let's just move on. <laughs> next story, visual art. DNA. 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 Everyone has DNA. Everyone has a gene pool. Everyone has spunk. That, but also oh, no, no, other ancestry <laughs> history. So one lovely couple, it didn't state where they were from, but one lovely couple, I thought, hey, because when you, we, we, obviously we've been in this relationship for about a year and a half now, so let's... Oh, I know where you're going. Let's, let, let's see, yeah. Uh, Let's look at our family history. Let's see where we're going to end up. Where where where, where we came from, should I say? So they did. They set their 
DNA to Ancestry.com. Oh no. So yeah, get yourself there if you, if you want to know your family history, Ancestry.com. Hey, that's a free plug. We need money for that. We need money. <laughs> money! <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, all hell's all, all handy, handy, dandy, whatever. So, yeah, a couple of weeks later, they got their DNA tests back. And then all hell broke loose. Because her DNA came back. Yeah, family history was fine. No problem whatsoever. Blah, 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 blah. His DNA comes back and there was a bit of a... A bit of loopholes, a bit of, hmm, not too sure about that one, but, uh, so he looked into it, spoke to his relatives, everything else, turned out this person was a serial killer. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, what? He was related to one of, they never specified what serial killer he was related to, but he was related to a serial killer from early back, whatever it was. Um, girlfriend got scared, a bit freaked out. Uh, the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So, tip. If you're in a new relationship, you want to get to know the family, that's fine. Keep the ancestry DNA out of it because you just never know what you're going to pop up. That's not what I thought you were going to say, though. I thought you were going to say they were related. No, we've had, we have had one of that, one or two of them yeah. on here, but no. <laughs> of course yeah. we have. <laughs> His great, great, great pump pa was a serial killer. Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, Chris has a picture up of uh, wherever he's put it somewhere of a lovely lady well she's not so lovely we'll get to a sec uh, she was a huge Instagram influencer uh, I know that term because I'm down with the kids old man don't know <laughs> uh, but basically she was huge on Instagram that's where she got all of her income and her fame and stuff she was basically one of these modern day youthful celebrities but her account got axed and terminated and she had no way of making money so her parents said you need to go out there to the brave world and get a 9 to 5 and she did she got a job at McDonald's but she had the audacity and the the uh Arrogance and rudeness, not that that's a real word, uh, to twine and complain because she rudeness was no is longer. A real word. Rudeness, yeah. is, it, is it real? Yeah. I'm not very good with English. Uh, yeah, I'll, but yeah, I'll take you on that. Um, but she was absolutely fuming and raging because she felt entitled to have this easy social media life uh, just to take snaps and uh, Instagram pictures and bios. And she got huge cans. So she's like, yeah, yeah, give me money. Uh, and she basically, she didn't want to be one of us regular common folks. She thought she was too good for it. So there's backlash upon her uh, stating that, you know, it's very ignorant, it's very rude. Um, you know, you're not very level-headed. Get down with real people, the working class folk. Yeah, she felt entitled to that life. Is that right to so? say? And she felt like she was above everything and that she should have had this account. It's unfair. And it's, like, it's just shit luck. you got to go through the daily grind, okay? It's what me and Chris do. It's what uh, she and my mum does. She works at B&Q. I can't tell you how hard that is. Um, <laughs> and my dog doesn't do it, the lazy fucking bitch. Maybe she feels entitled. But yes, yeah, she, she got it axed and she, she just can't get to the programme of working hard every day at 9 to 5. I assume weekends. Maybe she gets a day off in the week. Maybe she gets a Monday off, means she can watch WWE pay per views. Yeah. Uh, Friday off, she can go to the midnight release of uh, superhero films. Yeah. Me and Chris don't, we have to book them in advance. Yeah. But yes, uh, you know, if, if she gets terminated, don't be such a dick. Yes, it sucks, but just work at an old job like me and Chris do and try and work hard to create something else again. Yeah, man. Is that fair? Uh, is, that, is that done? That's just done. Uh, are you part of the Illuminati? No. Nope. Oh, I almost fucking got you there, Chris. Now it's time for the sports end. Weather. Uh, where this week, we're, oh, the broadcaster for this week's sports and weather. I haven't sent you them yet. No. Nope. Oh, don't let me forget, because last week when you're going through your editing process, I forget to send them. Like, oh shit, Obi hasn't started and he's waiting on me to send them. And if that is the case, Chris, just text Then I would have texted you. Yeah. Say, fucking send me this shit now. Um, you're going to love this guy. He is the co he's the coolest motherfucker ever. He's me. Uh, you're probably the ninth coolest person oh, ever. Thanks. Um, of course, that's after me. Uh, and then there's Pikachu, mm. uh, Ryan Reynolds, um, Chris Evans, Beale. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you're gonna say that. <laughs> uh, but no, he is the coolest, baddest motherfucker on the planet. Uh, his name is. 
Jack. No, his name is Dan, and here's Dan. <laughs> no. Yes, here's no. Dan giving you the sports and weather. Roll and shit. Sports. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck you. Hello, sports fans. Extreme hardcore off road biking. As he makes it over the bridge. Sports. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Been cycling for what feels like four hours. I only left work two minutes ago. Shadow Dan, Sports Dan. Back to you in the studio, Dan. They're everywhere. Look at the, look at the little wind farm. Woo! Sir Bradley Wiggins type shot. I'm doing that for Queen and Conte. Where's my bell? My wee little bell. Told you, uh, shit, which one's Bradley Wiggins? I can't remember. The weather. Here's uh, Studio Dan and Chris, it's rather fucking warm. Hot, it's very, very, very hot. Like if I was to guess, it would be ab above warm, but, but below boiling. As I enter the beautiful forest, it's still hot. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's rather hot. It's a rather nice day to take a stroll. Oh, insect. And there we go. Did you enjoy uh, Weather Dan telling everybody that it's hot? No. Uh, because it was hot. It has been hot. And he was doing a cycle race. A very good cycle race. I haven't seen this yet. A so very good cycle race. Help me. There's not much craziness to go on. It's just him cycling, looking very good. I suppose dirty. I could we, could. we could work this. We could work this. We could work this. Mm. Yeah. You stick to bringing in the uh, weather. I'll bring in the sports, since gym guy. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we can work and go on that. Well, um, we're going to be meeting up quite a bit this week, so remember we'll restructure, reformulate. Uh, the way that, oh my god, I knew it. I fucking knew it, you fucking son of a bitch. We've got you. The FBI are going to kick down this door, even though you probably control them with your fucking crab eyes and fucking do 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 crab people crap. South Park. Um, <laughs> queer eye for the straight guy. Crabs are uh, trying to make. What? The crab people are trying to make uh, straight men turn gay. Okay. So, uh, queer eye for the straight guy. Crab people. Crab people. Like the lizard people. No, they crap. Oh, you fucking. Uh, so that's this week's spot to ever. Let's go to Chris. Have you got a hot one story? I think it's all right. I'll think something. <laughs> We're in the end game now. We are. Chris is happy. Time. Right. I assume I can stand here then. Usually yeah. this is your segment. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it has been three days. Three days. Since Avengers. Did we enjoy it? <laughs> Do you need to ask? Exactly. Do you need to ask? Yeah, Chris's heartwarming story is... Also, guys, it is... But there we are now, Saturday, so oh. it's the 27th. Is Yes. Happy birthday, Dave! Oh, I'm going to tag you in this. Not you, not you? Not me. This oh. is my sister's boyfriend, Dave. Happy birthday! And... Uh, is he a crab person? No. He's a small person. Is he? <laughs> is he a No. Um, he Monday is my birthday. I am turning in the big 3-1. 92? Yeah. 31 year old and I still look younger than Dan as our Facebook Who Who Do You Look Like Superstars announced. Oh yeah, I got four. I was, I was hoping to get Spider-Man. I'm younger than him. Yeah, I didn't even check the age part. <laughs> so yeah, didn't realise. Yeah, yeah, happy warm, happy warm and so like, is uh, you your birthday and your pal's it's birthday? Everyone's birthday is well. Avengers Endgame and J J Liverpool are into the Champions League quarter final. And we're going to a Newcastle Liverpool game. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'll double check tickets so they sell out like wildfire. Wildfire and um. <sighs> 
Is that it? I feel a little bit awkward now. I feel like we're kind of just running out of shit. No, I think that's it. Um, Are your hearts warmed? Let us know in the comments below. Have we uh, have we succeeded su succeeded your feelings? No. Did we pleasure you? That one. Not in a weird way though. The way he says it. Oh, don't assume their genders. I was saying anything about genders. For sake. They might not want... <sighs> Should we go on to Dan's happy ending? Let's just go. Yeah. Oh, Dan's happy ending! Right, now it's time where I can really give you a fucking happy ending because... No thanks. This clip you're about to witness. I don't want to know. What, have you, what is the one thing you've always wanted to see out of your lives and your life and my life? What is the one what thing? What is the one thing you've always wanted to see? Everybody knows it. And they know it to be true. Think hard. Is this anything? No, this is the one thing you you knew you always wanted to see. Is this something you've seen on TV that you think, oh, you wish you were there in person? Or... No, you just sat there one morning and you went, I really wanted to see this. Okay. Is this a question? Or is this it's a you... statement. It's a fact, mate. Because what you're about to witness is a nice close-up version of some heavy breathing. Oh, God. I don't want to know. Enjoy. <laughs> There we go. You enjoyed that, didn't you? No. Um, no. So yeah, I was yeah. thinking more like dinosaurs. They well. enjoyed that. Me, heavy. In fact, it wasn't even me. That was that was so, the drunk, drunk cycle down Bradley Wiggins. <laughs> yeah, Brad E cycles, didn't they? Is he Tour de France or is he the Soka one? Oh, he's a Tour de France because because you Chris whatever his name is is the fucking. Yeah, I, I I said it in the sorry sports dance said it in his segment. I I can't remember. They're all the fucking same bikes, pieces of shit. Hey, pump fire! Woo, fire! Woo. Um, well, it's bad. It's bad for you if you keep it in. <laughs> probably is. <laughs> probably is if all that fucking methane going up, staying in your butt. What? What? In the butt? I have a scab in the inside of my nose, which I keep picking up. My nose was blood, blood in like fuck the other day. My obviously mine hurts there when I from when I got glassed. If you know what glass means, it means where you're fucking in a boozer, some fucking nutcase smashes you with a bottle. No, did you get a pain glass thrown in your face? Exactly. After he drinks it. In a boozer. Yeah. At least he drank it first. If he'd have chucked a full one. It was one. mine. He <laughs> drank. <laughs> he drank your drink. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Basically. That's kind of what happens when you're inside of a secret organisation. No. It is. That's what happens when you're in Halaby. <laughs> <laughs> Harabee's an area in Carlisle yes uh, thank you for watching the news uh, it's not been as weird as last week it's just been oh, your phone's going dead uh, uh, yeah what, uh, well, yeah. see Avengers review up Superior Wednesday Chris come in podcasts uh, not literally oh you would turn it dirty you, you are a f you. you're a fr freak you are a freak say my name's Chris and I'm a freak my name's Chris and you're I am freaky. Not a freak. I'm not. Did you just say freak? A freak. Where did the r come I'm from? Bye bye, bitch. Just keep it you. Keep on keeping on. Love you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going.